What is going on guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, first thing I'm gonna say is go subscribe. If you're returning, you're probably like, what is that? Well, yes, that is a ZL1. The title of this video is not a lie. We have acquired a Camaro ZL1, but I am not the one who has acquired this vehicle. My buddy here in this shop, we call him SVT Johnny. Uh, my buddy John is here in Wallingford, Connecticut, which is where I'm originally from. If you guys also have not returned to the channel recently, I moved to Florida, You've seen videos of that. We always build Miatas and stuff. But in today's video, we are going to be starting the series of repairing a blown up ZL1. I'm gonna call my buddy John over here. We're gonna show Mr. Oh, he doesn't wanna come over here. We're gonna show Mr. SVT Johnny. Now, um, please forgive him. This is the first time he is actually on camera trying to make YouTube videos <laughs> with me. Um, it's definitely a little uncomfortable for both of us because he likes to get stuff done here and when you pull a camera out, we gotta stop and we gotta move the camera here and there and do all this stuff. So, um, yep. I think the reason why this is gonna be good and why you're gonna wanna keep coming back is because Captain ADHD, Mr. OCD Perfection. You know, if you guys <laughs> haven't seen the last video, he has this, you know, full blown performance shop. There is all kinds of cars in here ready. and stuff going on. I'm ready, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, he, he's been telling me all morning he wants to get the motor out of this, but um, <laughs> I don't know if you quickly, I'll, I'll butt in, if you just wanna tell everyone that's watching what the story is with this car and how we actually got it. Because none of this was planned in recording right now. This all kind of just happened. No, it kind of fell into place. Yeah. Um, no, we uh, car came in here for zero oil pressure. Um, we were hoping the motor was savable. The guy caught it soon enough. Um, I was hoping to be able to put a pump in this and send him on his way, but it looks like the car was driven a little longer than he said with no oil pressure. So it's, she's a goner. <laughs> yeah, basically I, I, I make sure the hood doesn't fall on his head. Basically this thing is completely blown up. Um, we didn't get the car like this. The bumper is to the right of me and it, it's already got the subframe out of it. So. Moral of the story is, it, is, it was a good deal. The, the car has a uh, wing and felter package, a cam, it has heads, like titanium valve train, and I think it has what? It has an upper pulley, and I think it had an ATI balancer. Mm -hmm. some, some cool parts. It's got a lower. So, not sure how useful all that stuff is still gonna be, but today's video is gonna be, we're gonna pull the motor out of this thing, and actually go bring it right over to the machine shop mm -hmm. to get a diagnosis. Now, that's not gonna be probably in today's video, but if you know how machine shops are, we got to get it over there instantly. Or it's going to take, line. <laughs> you know, John actually has a, a customer car here that's been sitting for quite the amount of time. The machine shop has the engine for this old F100 pickup truck. And it's probably been two years. Just about. Just about. So no shade in the machine shop, but they get busy. They so, do? I don't know. All right, let's uh, tear this thing apart and let's go. You're a Camaro boy now. Using the harness to hold the, the hood up. Yikes. Watch my mouth. Your mouth is gonna be bleeped out. That's I all right. I don't like it there. Okay. It's gonna be good. All right, up we go. He does not like this interior. I personally love this interior. That's because you're a hater. Ow! <laughs> okay. So, oh, we gotta get managed to get this off. Without destroying anything, we just pull this out, and boom. We now have gained access. Bingo. Twist, down, oh, torques. There is a, yeah, right there. We were trying to rip it off like maniacs. Okay. How does it feel to sit in a Camaro? Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> this is weird. Oh my, it, yo, guys, I'm gonna put the picture on the screen. Same steering wheel as a Malibu. Come on, Chevy. Come on. It's the same steering wheel. It's identical. <laughs> Who is this guy? What is that? <laughs> I blew out my... <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> now what happens? I don't know. Oh! Oh! It just slides right off. Oh. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, he already got... Oh my God. What? So don't mess around. So smart. Oh, oh it's a 10. I should have known that. It's a Chevy. Damn it. All right. The question is who's getting out? <laughs> Is there a boost gauge on there? I think oh. there is. I think instead of tranny, they put, or they put both. Boost volts. 
Oil pressure, oil temp. Nice. Nice. Need the noise? Yes. What? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Croil. What's croil? <laughs> croil? The best. It's old. No, croil. It's old, like me. Use croil. You're not even old. <laughs> I know. How, put in the comments below. For first, first viewers before this series of videos blows up. How old do you think this man is? Wait. How old? Let's get it. Let's get it. How old? What are you doing? Is? And what do you think's under the hat? That's what. Let me know. Not a lot of hair. I'm just putting the cover back on. We're trying to make sure. This thing is back together for the machine shop to look at it, and so it's not just wide open. We can't drop an engine with a pickup tube and the oil pan off on a table. That's not going to work. It's only a part like this because we were in the process of actually trying to repair a customer car, and now we own it. So, guess it really wasn't a waste of time, right? Not totally. No. Gonna go down after we go down we could then drop the whole entire harness with the motor seems to be the best option i've only done this once before but it was on a four cylinder six gen which is a whole different car and i may have connected the positive battery cable to the side of the engine block true story hey, you get so close to me got the whole set of the fuse box it's cool it's just the full ford did that in 2003 but chevy did it take that out what else? This all seems to be free. That's the whole. Seems to be the whole harness right there. The only thing left is fuel. And I believe just the clutch line right here. Wow. I think that's it. I think she's ready to come out, guys. The LSA engine is on the ground. Uh, a couple hiccups, we forgot the cooler lines were hooked up to the side of the transmission, blah, blah, blah. Just recording it gets a little distracting, but no damage done and it's all out. It's just awesome to finally see this thing. Look at this, they're a pretty big unit. Oh yeah, so we got the supercharger. It is pulleyed, corded. You can see that someone corded it. Now that this thing is a shell, we could uh, get the subframe back in it so we can roll it around outside because there's still customer cars and my buddy John's shop it need to happen. First thoughts on the engine, sir? <laughs> it's fucked. <laughs> yeah, we got some weird oil seepage here. Um, 
I mean, it's definitely an exhaust leak, but why it's full of oil, that can't possibly be good. We could be wrong about that. Which is pretty standard for stuff. I'm assuming a Hellcat's like this too, right? Yep. I'm sure the torque is not much, but yeah, I don't even have to crack. I mean that that kind of goes away in your hand when you, you that might just be really dirty. That's the oil. It's That's crazy. just car. You know, I think carbon. I up think oil. this was just daily driven, and no one took care of it. Like even pr 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 like prior life, whoever traded it into that dealer. Yeah. <laughs> over to the car. No, I don't know if it's a CNC port or a hand port. Mm. And I should know that, but... I don't know. A lot of oil, though, dude. Yeah. A lot of oil. A lot of miles. So... Yeah. Mm. Big valve. Wow. Wow. Wow! I'm going to jinx it. <laughs> That's crazy that they're coming off. Well, don't forget the header was leaking in there too. Yeah. All right, so I put it back in, but we, we think this may be a problem. I pulled it out. There's some metal on the, the pusher rod, but none of the other ones do this. Not that we're experts, but I don't like that. There it is. Right there. That. Let me see if I can get it. That lifter right here is bad. You guys. That lifter is bad. You guys see this right here? All this play on the push rod. There you go. Got the engine hoisted up right now, as you can see. Uh. I think the tranny should come off now. That's it, man. All right, ready? Oh, God. Good? Good. Whoa! Hmm, got some material in there. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. Whoa! Lots of clutch material. <laughs> Alright guys, so the LSA is on the ground, it's done, it's pretty apart, it's ready for the machine shop, right? Ready for the machine shop. It's pretty good. So, what we have to do next is get it to, what do we call them? Can we say it? No. <laughs> Fat Al! Oh. <laughs> that, that, that's his name, that's what he goes by. Yep. Uh, ENG Performance, there's a machine shop up the street. That's where we're gonna bring it to, so I figured I'd close the video out here. There's nothing else to do. We, that's it, it's We out. got it all apart. Uh, there's stuff everywhere, uh, I'm not gonna show it. You saw the time lapses. The superchargers in 14 pieces all over the place. There's pulleys, there's two. brackets. Too easy. Is this car even gonna run? <laughs> Very well. <laughs> Trying to hold it together. Like That's a hawk. it. Like That's a hawk. It. That's it. That's, That's it. No, it's done. That, I don't know what else to say. It started off really serious and it ended very yep. goofy. 
Um, so yeah, if you liked the video, uh, subscribe so we could we could keep going. I don't know. It's we're just doing this for fun. We ain't making a dime off this. It's nope. just a dime. I'm going week. broke. <laughs> Go ahead. Come on, you're a YouTuber. Have a good one. <laughs> I don't know what we say. Make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think, good or bad, doesn't matter. I love you. Good night.